One thing our designers wanted to do was make sure the car reflected in its design the athletic ability of the vehicle on the road. And what they did was they decided to shed some weight and shed some of the excess bulk of most mid-sized cars. They made the proportions trim, what they called fit, not fat. And they made the overhangs a little shorter, a little trimmer. At the same time, we kept the interior of the vehicle very roomy, and roomier than some cars like a Mercedes C-Class or an Audi A4. But at the same time, give the vehicle a sense of um, agility so that the customer would have a great deal of ease parking the car or slicing through traffic. The styling of a car does often begin at the front, but it's true of the Kazashi as well. We have a very aggressive grille uh, and very pronounced headlights that are almost uh, like eyes, and it really gives the car an attitude. And again, the lines that are begun with that grille carry through into the hood and actually don't complete until you get to the end of the car uh, at the trunk. Of course, when you have an exterior like this and a story as strong as ours to tell, you want to make sure people aren't disappointed when they get inside the car. And the Kazashi story definitely doesn't end when you open the door and settle inside. Well, when you open the door to a Kazashi, it will really wow you because that's how we really, I think, delivered on that sense of premium sports sedan down to the mass market price point. You'll notice that we didn't cut any corners.